Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we're picking up where we left off after the big huge fight that we just did so we're just right after that. Oh! Oh! Interesting. I, I feel like I should have this because it's another one of year the spark strokes. An enormous storm was raging the first time year the spark struck left the underdog. The deep gnomes interest in lightning became at once an all-consuming obsession and they would spend the rest of their years trying to recreate the storm power themselves. Beautiful. Scroll of blur, give me that. War map. Uh, read. Elegant pens start trace out a map of the local area. The goblin's den is indelibly marked in a greenish ink. The word Kionathar waves across the bottom where the large river flowed. Three additional locations are an annotated caravan. Goblins is scrolled to the northwest of the camp. Toll House Knolls marks the far north territory. Forest Supplies hovers over an arrow pointing to the forest just to the camp's east, beneath, and small laurels between the laurel. Steal. Always good to steal a map. I am I am well pleased honestly I did not I was like this is not gonna work but we did it somehow and then we're gonna because these guys could get out like they they were in there and they were activated at one point there's a ladder so I was like they're definitely gonna come out and they definitely didn't oh Elixir of dark vision will help to moonlight the lens seems to shift. This is that spyglass. That we destroyed. Interesting. Okay, well it is time for a freaking short rest. And here I go. Here I go. Ooh, <gasps> oral histories of favor and paladin oathbreakers. I don't know. We may have already read that, but I'm gonna read it again. Hmm. This book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter seven: Valamor the Outcast, 52 years of age, human paladin, oathbreaker. Given Valamor's reputation in Ethkatala, the city she once called home, I met the former night officer of the noble and exclusive order of the Radiant Heart with no small amount of trepidation. She has lived as an outcast for some years now, and the rumors of her character quite preceded her. I spoke to one of the prelates of the order, who described her as a dreadful, sadistic traitor, warning me that to find her would be suicide, that she would kill me before I could speak a single word. He was wrong when I finally tracked her down. We spoke for hours, and I left with her blessing to share her story. I will not disclose our meeting place, as the order punishes those who violate their vows of beheading. Of course I regret it. Breaking an oath isn't going back on your word. It's not an ethical quandary. It wrenches out a part of your soul. Before, I could call on angels to fight alongside me. I could banish fiends back to the hells and demons to the abyss, all with a thought and a prayer. I lost my voice. I speak, but this isn't my voice. It's an echo, a whisper. Tell them this. Most days I wish I died rather than break my oath, but I never, I'd never, i never take back what I did, what I refused to do. Damn the order. Service became a dogma. Obedience was virtue. To question was sin. Just justice and duty are uncomfortable bedfellows and eventually they make bastards of us all. See, that's the kind of, yes, that's the kind of like a uh, qualm that I want if I make an Oathbreaker like to play someday in a more flexible setting than, than a video game, you know? Your ex got broke. Curse of the Vampire. Oh, uh, we did get some journal updates. Ask the goblin. Apparently we completed the help from Nettie thing. Uh, so that's cool. Ask the goblin priestess for help. Search for Halson. If he's still alive, and he, and he claimed to be able to move the parasites if he's still alive. I sure hope he's still freaking alive. If I went to all that effort, and she he's not alive i'm going to be very upset but man this place is apparently far more extensive 
than I initially thought because boy where is he like where do they keep the prisoners Ike like that's just the way back out I don't need to fight these guys I mean this is our sarcophagus stuff old stuff uh, how many there's four in there what are they delaying for can't we just swarm the forest Drown. Wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. We're being arrested for assault. Judging by uh. the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. <gasps> oh! Yes, let's go. I can't find the prison, so let's just go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you want your freedom back, you have to break out of your prison cell. Well. Let's explore. <laughs> Mysterious or <horror. sighs> decaying legs Ew, oh. from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Investigation. He's a smart boy. Yeah, yeah, we got, look at <laughs> just totally wrecked this dead body, honestly. We figured out exactly what happened. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig uh. and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. I think that's a butt. I think it was a butt cheek. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he fell. Oof. 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 I probably should have, you know, heavy stone, heavy stone, heavy stone. Because I don't have my. Oop, I don't. Locked. Nothing a quick blast of magic won't clear. Yes, but well, hold on, I'm trying to pick up heavy stone. Because I think that's going to be, like, our only weapon. <laughs> Nothing a quick blast of magic won't clear. Alright, well. Well, you lied to me. Locked. Nothing a quick blast of magic won't clear. I think I was too close. Here, okay. Oh, oh, that was a weird texture. I'll tell you, the scribe Aren't you? was looking at me all strong. <gasps> right, what would some drought wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Certainly you won't be. Wise. What do they need to be looking at? Okay, hold on, hold on a second. We're all on the same side. Oh, wait. Okay, so none of this, none of this worked out the way I wanted it to. Where do they keep the where do they keep the prisoners? Where's I have spent hours trying to find this man. Aww. Maybe through there? Maybe in that way? Maybe once my notoriety dies down, I can just walk out. Maybe I'll do that. I just gave Gail the speaks with animals. Because there's a rat in here I want to talk to. Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. Foul stench of slaughter turned suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Oh, gross. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. I was looking at me all strange. Right. What would some... Uh, um. Okay, well, if we can just walk in, we're all on the same side. We're gonna do that. Okay, well, welcome back to the flock, my guy. And apparently, there's something below us.
Spooky, spooky. Recruit mace. Another step forward. Probably the deep dark parts are where. Oh hello. Mm, I wanna have a word. Steal something. Or or at the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun. I promise. That's like a goblin child. Oh? Oh no, these are the warg. Hmm, okay, never mind. I was like, Druid? Uh, evidence chest. They have an evidence chest, that's hilarious. I love that I can apparently just periodically wait is he is he on this floor is he in this room no that's the room I just came out of I am oh that's like above ground usually if it's above ground it'll be like oh it's above you oh this would be if Oh, this is all Gale's stuff. Okay, good. I forgot he didn't yeah, just get his stuff back all of a sudden. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been tragic? That would have been tragic if I just like wandered around and like freaking just left his stuff behind. I left his clothes on at least. Oh my gosh. Keep it up, one. Oh, they are kids, I think. At least according to my theory. See? Yeah. It squealed. <laughs> it's it again. Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> Stop the <gasps> free me. Oh, you are a bear. With those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the Vorks. And it makes funny noises. They're actually really cute. We made it squeal. Like they're horrible. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show ya. Ooh, let's see. Let him out. I'll take care of the beast. Let's see. Okay, difficulty class two. If we fail this. It just <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, you're also uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. Interesting. Good. Now they die. Okay. Time for blood. And I'm curious. I don't know. I accidentally clicked with somebody else. I don't know if the approval is for me. I'm like nervous about that. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Also, God, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna kill some goblin kids. I'm a monster, but I mean, they're kind of little monsters too. Of course. Also, we have got nearly nothing. Yeah, all those body parts. Oh no, kill the children, kill the children. <laughs> That's such a terrible thing to say. Kill the children, kill the children. 
Oh, and the wargs. No, I certainly hope those guys are still locked in. What? You can't be aware of things. You're way out there. Misty step, misty step, you can do it. I'm a monster. God, it's hot in here. Incoming. I'm a monster. <laughs> You better, you better do, oh my gosh, I was like, you better do something. I am concerned about this guy opening, using the lever. Oh, nice, good, thank you. Oh no, I thought the crown of madness would make it fight. <laughs> Oh, did it get away? The kid? It did. Oh, great. Okay. Oh my freaking gosh, if we haven't leveled up. Oh! Is it? Pardon the vision. Yes! One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Oh you my a bear gosh! Without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I can definitely see why you would wanna you'd be wanting to date this guy <laughs> if you want to hang out with him anyway. Um Your Halson, the master Halson of the Emerald Grove. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my heart. He's quite... Yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. Actually, the more I look at him, I'm like... Yes. <laughs> He's also the beefiest elf I've ever seen. Besides me. Um, glad I could be of help. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Mm, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling alright? Oh, oh, you can tell? My guy? Uh, I, uh, uh, listen. Oh. Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. The blood just makes him look great. How is this possible? He wears it well. I think this artifact has something to do with it? Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the mind flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with How them, long? someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic. Yeah, I figured. Which means I can't cure you. I figured. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, the way to remove the tadpoles, but. I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Oh, I like him. I'm just, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm listening. I'm totally listening. Um, um, you tell me what you learned of the Tadpole's origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Tower. Yes, I heard that. Innocents go in. True souls come out. Ooh. 
Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. But also, like... Uh, how long has this been going on? Like, years? Like, how long has he been studying this? You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me? I wish wink, I could. Wink. But there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help oh. me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. Oh, yes. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. I am a paladin. Like, I am an, an oath of the ancients paladin. Specifically, not just, not just a paladin. All right, how do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate <laughs> the Roman Thara, the hobgoblin draw rags I... and that perversion of a priestess. Gut. I did. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Uh... Remove them, and nature will cure I think itself. I did two of the three. Um... I definitely killed Minratha, obviously, and I killed pri the priestess. Uh, but I think the leader who was no he was with us in the fight the first time around wasn't with us the second time around. So now I'm a little concerned that I've lost him, and I'm gonna be really mad if the game is glitched out. Uh, having a shape shifting bear druid at my side might make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the Yeah, well, leaders. most of them are dead now. You can come with me. So be it. May Sylvanas lend us nature's fury. Oh my gosh, he's a guest. He's like a little guest friend. Listen, guest friend, do you mind if we take a long nap? I think we need a long nap. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one here, I guess. I don't know how I've been recording for almost three hours. Will I get an episode or two or seven out of it? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm sorry about the fan. I was dying. Um. But yeah, I have to loot the place before we go, before we do anything crazy. But also, like, I feel like because I'm an oath of the ancients nature druid, I'd be like, no, my guy. Like now that I freed you, I tried. I tried to blow a scene. It didn't work. What worked was bashing everybody's heads in. So, so let's go, bro. Let's go. I also want to. Like, I felt like I was about to level up. Oh, I am not even close. How it takes so long, just like real Dungeons and Dragons, it takes so long to level up. In my D and D games, it doesn't take this long. It's fine. I feel bad. Everybody's got their like starting armor and weapons, and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I guess I could give him. Oh, see, it's worse. Why is it? Maybe it's because he's not proficient. Ooh, got Will in the drow armor. It's not really, I'm not, oh, sorry, it's the spider silk armor. It's not the actual drow armor. Because it's light armor. It doesn't have all of the leaders listed, but I know I killed the two of them. Now we just gotta find the other one somehow, but we're not doing that right now. Today, I must stop playing. <laughs> And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. 
And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.